हेलो एंड नमस्ते आई एम साक्षी सिंह एंड यू आर वॉचिंग वाइब्स ऑफ इंडिया टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट वाई टीन एजर्स आर गेटिंग इन टू ड्रग्स एंड वॉट देयर पेरेंट्स कैन डू टू हेल्प देम नॉट गेट अडिक्टेड टू ड्रग्स सो ईजिली सो टुडे वी हैव सम स्पेशल गेस्ट विद अस हु आर गोइंग टू गिव अस लाइट ऑन द सेम टॉपिक फॉर द लास्ट ट्वेंटी टू थर्टी ईयर्स many campaigns running on saying no to drugs but still people are getting into drugs and the main cause the teenagers who are going to be tomorrow's adult who are indulging very easily into drugs so today to discuss on this special topic so let's start with the dr sarthak who is a psychiatrist dr pradeep also a psychiatrist and dr urvika today who will discuss about the topic So, sir, first of all, I want to ask that how people get addicted to drugs. What is the reason behind their addiction? So, uh, there are multiple causes of it, obviously, but uh, the main reason is uh, genetics. Because if uh, parents are uh, having drug addiction, any kind of drug addiction, then uh, there are uh, ch- the chances are increased in their um, uh, offspring that they are. Uh, going to get addicted and second one is uh, there are always two uh, there is a nature and nurture right so then second obviously is other psychological factor social factors other environmental factors in teenager particularly uh, they are having curiosity about everything right uh, they want they have usual novelty seeking behavior novelty seeking traits so they want to try what they are seeing in surroundings so and uh, the other thing is peer pressure right so other uh, peers are going into parties and uh, they are uh, trying this kind of drug so they also feel that they also want to uh, try and see what happens so just trying it for once make uh, make you addicted to that thing uh, particularly in uh, some substances like cocaine and dm these substances can uh, make you addict even if you try it just for once so are these drugs easily available to teenagers also yeah actually <coughs> any drugs is i as you know is available anywhere mm. because it's a whatever they illegally they are getting from the many sources and rightly my colleague has said uh, particularly just i would like to talk on teenagers teenagers is a such a age then there is a development of the brain occurs so up to age of 22 years our brain develops mm. so early adolescents and adolescents and teenagers have a more ontogenetic i mean changes in the brain rightly she said as a biological changes hormonal changes development of one adult hormones and everything so these ages particularly the teenagers are more curious about the things and they have a novelty seeking behavior they particularly just want to learn newer things and particularly in that period when just they comes to their colleagues and peers they develop the peer pressure so from the school mates and other in surrounding they have just curiosity to use the substance so which kinds of drugs are easily like because you deal with such patients you might be knowing that what are the easily available drugs they get addicted to i think just a common is a smoking and tobacco yeah this is the one thing alcohol but nowadays uh, marijuana you can say weed marijuana or cannabis is a most commonly used drug nowadays but it is legal somewhere and not in india so is it still as harmful as we think it is it is it is absolutely harmful then why it's legal in some of the countries because according to them those countries not the whole countries a few states or so many countries mm-hmm. they have they believe that it might be used as a for medicine purpose now we already have a lot a lot of medicines available and for that for a medicinal purpose we do not need uh, uh, something that is controlled something that causes a lot of dependence so it is better we use safe medicines and um, i would like to add that in particularly teenagers and those who are uh, in college early college they usually have this tendency that and they uh, get to know from others that these drugs increases their concentration and their performance in study they have uh, more attention towards uh, studies particularly and some athletes also they also use this for the uh, increase performance so it's not allowed yes definitely it is smoking up to yes. some level yes. okay yes. 
up to some level it is not allowed But by the way it's a legalization of the drug is a, a, a illegal use of drug it's a debatable area it's a big way we can say like uh, many countries are legalized the things because they are saying the more crime is the more with the drugs mm-hmm. suppose illegal just using them they are just moving around they are have a i mean uh, running away tendency or something like that uh, they have just uh, uh, means criminal type of things due to the drugs because it addict once addict the person can want drug at any cost so there is more crime related to drug so another thing suppose like just in gujarat we don't have a uh, alcohol is illegal but some of us yeah available but see the how many people are using personally i feel there is a less number because when just uh, because uh, once alcohol is a considered as a stigma here Suppose you go to Rajasthan and Mumbai and other state, then there is a legal. Uh, I mean, uh, people yeah, are like drinking. Normal, uh, so what happened? Uh, people can consider there is something wrong here in Gujarat if somebody is drinking. Hmm. So I think less number of people relatively use. So actually, everybody is their own view, but uh, it's a big debatable area. So you. So the first question that you asked that what is actually the reason behind use of drugs it's a very multifactorial reason it's a, such a broad explanation that everybody uses the drugs abuses drugs for different reasons hmm. there's no specific reason that this is the thing that hence they are using the drugs there's so many so 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 many factors it varies from, it from it age also person. it varies from age it, yes. so it can be so theoretically it can be divided into two parts the biological factors and the environmental factors hmm. and both of them are so vast so if if we would be given a question in the exam we would be writing about 80 marks answer for that so it's, it's such a huge topic that there is no specific reason why people are using them it is that multi multi factor and what about those who are addicted and they want to leave i have seen they cannot matlab they always give you the reason that i want to but nahi ho raha hai mujhe so oh, why this happens oh, i do believe in one thing like it's a very difficult thing to so it depends changes from person to person changes from the from drugs to drugs but if you actually want to leave something if you actually want to leave something if you are ready to live the repercussions mm. then you can there are helps available there are professionals available there are medications available but of course if you are expecting that uh, uh, after leaving the drug after leaving that particular substance i will not feel anything i will not feel anything bad wrong i will i will not uh, uh, miss it then that's an over expectation mm. you have to be prepared that you you will face some some issues you will face some problems some symptoms withdrawal symptoms that we call for a few weeks max and then you'll be fine but if you are not even willing to live those few weeks then you cannot expect that you'll be able to leave the drugs you cannot just say that at today i left the drug and tomorrow i'll be absolutely normal because it makes some biological changes to such an extent in your brain that it gets used to it it becomes a part of your brain so as you said that the peer pressure ki wajah se also they do all this so i believe is there something mentally they are going through which makes them do this with the peer pressure also because if if my friends come to me and say that do this i will only do uh, unless i want it definitely there are uh, they are going through something so what can their parents do to help their teenagers yes. okay so uh, parents can uh, you know uh, parents have to uh, have to accept this generation gap right yes. so there is generation gap but there shouldn't be any communication gap between parents and children right so they have to communicate about all these things openly and you uh, the parent should ask all these open ended question to their children like what do you think this this kind of uh, thing that happening in our surrounding so what do you think about that and they should try to know that what they are thinking about it right and then there are different parenting styles so there are uh, parents should not go to either extreme or like authoritarian or permissive like they should not give permission for anything and also they, sh- they should not try to do helicopter parenting what we said right so there should be balance in between that and also uh, parents can uh, motivate their child uh, to read this uh, news and newspaper and all this because uh, from uh, those uh, gadgets they get to know that this uh, substances are illegal they have harmful effects they have 
physical harm as well as financial harm so i believe that parents are also not even comfortable sharing such topics uh, with their children they think that maybe it will influence them in a bad way rather they should discuss and make it a positive impact ki you no know, this this is how it gonna work yeah because main thing is really is that uh, actually the poor knowledge regarding the problem Mostly the substance abuse is considered as in a different way by the society. So is it crime? No, definitely not. Is sin? No. So something like a wrong? No. So people can have a not enough knowledge regarding the things, and they consider they will uh, rightly you say that they don't want to talk or share with other test groups because main thing is the prevention. so particularly when we talk about the society then prevention is always better anyway yes so prevention how just to give a proper knowledge to the kids and society because parents don't even don't know regarding the things yeah it is so it's a, yeah okay, it's a something that's why there is a stigma attached to the addiction stigma in a form of they call nasheri alcoholic or something like drug addict mm. so i think just society can understand it's a one type of disease so root cause of the thing it's a disease of the brain it's a disease like a diabetes or hypertension or something like that why because there is a definite changes in the brain if there is a continuous of substance that causes there is a changes in the brain upper and higher brain prefrontal cortex and certain basal ganglia part so they are all connected so continuous of substance affect this area and they affect the area of cognition we can say attention concentration memory and iq level then uh, she said that uh, out out of countries think that they they are these drugs marijuana and all are helping to to concentrate yeah. then how they are think because the scientifically the doctors are should have the same yeah. view i would like to take that question because see what happens this uh, amphetamine and all this drugs mm. it it is useful in some disorder psychiatric disorder adhd attention deficit hyperactivity disorder so this amphetamine and other uh, stimulants are useful in certain doses mm. but when you are taking in particular higher doses and repeated use without any doctor's prescription mm. then that uh, there are chances that you become addicted to it right and also you say that uh, are the substances are easily available so if as if we say that in gujarat alcohol is uh, illegal and it is not available but uh, there are multiple substances like inhalants in poor slum areas poor urban slums this uh, teenagers they are using gasoline kerosene petrol yes. they are smoking all this whitener i have yes. heard about it thinners uh, right and also those who are going in gym they are also taking this anabolic androgenic steroids yes also, steroids are not yeah yes they, they are considered substances these these substances are addictive so this we don't know about all this thing so what is the mindset like at least of those poor children why they do this to feel good any substance taken any okay. so basically substances are divided we have very less knowledge about various drugs alcohol is also considered a drug cannabis is also a drug so is amphetamine so is cocaine now all these uh, uh, drugs have different mechanisms different effects and everybody gets used to something or the other mm. be it peer pressure be it anything now some when they get used to it they do it to feel good yes now every single time they consume that substance they feel comparatively less good as compared to what they felt before on the same dose so they 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 tend to take a higher dose the next time and then they keep taking higher doses and then they get used to it fall into the trap of the cycle so the peer pressure like like you asked that how does peer pressure help uh, uh, work in this so a lot of uh, media a lot of uh, television series movies they glorify the uh, consumption of so many drugs and it is very important for children to look cool yeah um, uh, to be accepted to be acknowledged by the friends to be heard mm. now if they are not if if they'll start feeling that oh, i'm not, i'm not uh, invited to some place i'm not it means that i'm not cool so yeah. it is the parents responsibility to give them healthy cool stuff healthy ones something What, that like like so many so anything that you can do to to make them to boost up their confidence anything that that 
Okay, that can you can make them do to make them feel good about themselves. That let's say that I swam so good today. Uh-huh. I did this these many. I did. I did. I scored these many runs in the cricket match. But what about those who cannot afford giving their children such co-curricular no, activities to so you don't have stay to busy give that. You don't have to give them. So you have to encourage them. That is called behavioral conditioning. Hmm. If a, a person is going to play cricket and the, uh, the so when the child comes back home and the parent asks that. how did you perform and he says i scored these many runs the the child should be given something the child should be given at least an acknowledgement or whatever and that something that the child will feel good about feel wanted feel feel belonged if they are not getting that if they are not uh, that that void is not felt by uh, by filled by something yes. healthy then they'll try to fill it with something unhealthy that's a risk that's a huge risk they are taking take and once they fall into the trap the cycle begins so like to you the patients who come do they come with their parents or how yeah, like many times actually i like now see the patients are coming alone so hmm. kids i'm particularly i mean age between 14 to 22 they come so with they their come alone alone yeah oh. and so, what what is their cry to you sorry like what is their uh, what they want from you to do like yeah, actually they just mental understand. what is their Because mental state when they come to you Yeah, actually, the person who comes alone, it's in a good mental state. Yeah, because they are, I mean, healthy otherwise. Because they can understand. That's why they came. Because see that they can understand with the media and other things are addicted to the substance. So enough knowledge they have already got, and just they came to the other doctors and they had it. When whenever there is a willingness to leave the substance, mm. to leave the drug, it means that the person can. Yes. If the person, if the patient was brought by the parents or some relatives, it means that the patient had just come to just maybe satisfy the parents. Okay, घर पे थोड़ी शांति रहेगी ये सब. I'll just act that I'm leaving. I'll, I'll just cooperate and then I'll go and consume the same substance. But अगर वो खुद आया, it means that the person is uh, willing, willing to, yes. and that's half job done. So if they come there with their parents, what suggestion you give to the parents there that what they can do to help their child? Mostly, just uh, patient comes with the parents or relative. Mostly, I say, mm-hmm. I tell that they come alone sometimes, because what happened? They to certain uh, this addiction patients reach to us in a very later stage. So when they moderate to severe illness is there, so already they that time already they are they have a psychological problem associated with the substance. They are just have a. Some impulsive behavior, irritable behavior, angerness, and other things are always there. Yeah, so it is not always like that. It is somebody is coming along. How 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 parents can get to know that their children is getting into any drugs because they don't have the much knowledge about it. But how they can get to know that yes, my children is no not might be in a yeah. addiction. Mostly the academic backwardness. so they are not studying properly not going college or school on a regular basis sometimes after six month or one year they they get a reject with the, something like that uh, they fail in exam or something uh, they are stealing money from home this is one of the critical behavior so they require uh, excess so money that they can uh, so get they those drugs those mm. they start socially withdrawing themselves they start, they start living a secluded life they are spending more time with a particular set of friends not ah. knowing what exactly they are doing they are spending time at a place a shady place there are so many things that parents can notice but if the parents have the time to notice yes so lastly i have uh, seen one patient who has stolen i think 2.5 lakhs So used in a drugs within a, I think, fifteen days. And you must be surprised that uh, the number of girls who are taking substances yeah. are also increasing, and particularly in this age group, because uh, they have their own um, reasons for it. But in uh, as a society, we think that it's just boys, but girls. The number of girls are also increasing. So, I what are the reasons they give you that why they started doing drugs? Uh, most of the people uh, just my colleagues have mentioned there is a uh, one thing like a curiosity regarding the substance the other people are using then uh, this age is a, like a novelty second behavior to use substance and to enjoy the things so definitely i think all substances are giving the pleasure happiness yes. or relief pain or relief the sadness or something like that so they just use for that 
but they don't know regarding the purpose of use because the substance is giving pleasure for 2 to 3 hours or 5 hours sometimes on the next day he will be become same or a bit then yesterday so this is one thing the curiosity uh, another thing uh, the uh, children particularly teenagers are just uh, temptation to behave like an adult particularly this age what happened if they go like it just I, i want to drive a car i want to complete night with the net party in something and there is they don't want authority yes. like parents are always authoritative regarding this part so they want to just uh, involve as a individual identity this is the age when the teenagers or adolescents can get individual identity within a few years particularly 20 or 20 before 22 so they want individual type of behavior maybe parents yeah. think that uh, just as you said that till 22 uh, teenagers are growing in a growing stage so maybe they think that we will get free after 22 till yeah. that let us yeah. shape yeah. their shape mind, their mind. So, so but otherwise by the way they are suppose somebody is and a teenager is not uh, taking substance hmm. otherwise also parents are authoritative yes so they are not giving a freedom certain type of the teenagers require a freedom in addition to that proper education and knowledge and regarding the substance they have to start education at the age of 9 to 10 years i, I do believe that it is not like that at 13 or something so the students can understand related to that they have required that this is alcohol it's a marijuana it's a mdma it's a heroin so it but having this different. knowledge so early will it make them more curious to try maybe no but no? just somebody can explain in a proper way if there is a substance and what is the advantage you have to first explain the advantage of something so really it's a advantage or not yes. and then just you explain the disadvantage or problems with the substance so what happens if somebody will not teach properly and give the proper knowledge the other student will teach them how to take the substance True. so from very early childhood i would say that children should be given taught the difference between healthy and unhealthy coping mechanisms hmm. how healthy coping yeah. mechanisms would help help them solve the issue permanently while the unhealthy coping mechanisms like taking a substance a drug would just solve the issue temporarily or might not even so actually solve the issue it will just change the person's perception about the issue for a few hours and that's not something that's going to help the person and giving the knowledge hmm. along with uh, the awareness will help the person will will help the child not go in that direction yes we also we, we teach the children how to drive we teach children how to uh, ride bikes and we also teach them that riding at this particular speed will harm the ch- child mm. so given the knowledge along with the awareness is going to help the person yes they they, they justify the actions like they don't have the right knowledge in they short have it. they just and, uh, what they heard from their peers they are telling you that yeah. to the yeah. doctors they are telling you yeah. Do you know? Sir, so somebody, oh they, sometimes they ask to us, it is just uh, yeah. apparently. Yeah. Ha, and and then ye ye ye, आपको they will be like, sir, ये cancer में भी use होता है, भाई आपको cancer है. नहीं है, हाँ. तो फिर क्यों ले रहे? फिर उनको बोला आपको कुछ और भी हो सकता है. हाँ. And and like she said कि the performance enhancing drugs. हाँ. कि of course they will enhance your performance, but the price that you have to pay for that, the damage that it does to your brain is exponential. So when you weigh the risk benefit ratio. तो वो अब नुकसान बहुत ज्यादा है सो इट इज मच मच बेटर टू नॉट हैव दैट परफॉर्मेंस एंड अपना जो बेस्ट परफॉर्मेंस है विदाउट एनी एक्सटर्नल इन्फ्लुएंस वो ही दे ओवर यूज ऑफ ड्रग द ड्रग ओवर ओवर इंडालेंस अबाउट इंक्रीज अमाउंट एक साथ लेने या फिर विड्रॉल सडन बंद कर दिया से एपिलेप्सी या सीजर सीजर डिसऑर्डर हो सकता है so i uh, before we end up with this conversation i want you all three to just give your uh, this proper explanation to the parents who can help like te- how they can deal with their children to not get into this addiction of drugs you three can give your simple opinions to so, the parents so like i said before that you need to teach your children the difference between healthy and unhealthy coping mechanisms you need to teach them from the very beginning from the from the early childhood that anything that is uh, uh, external the substances they will just change your perception towards the problem for a temporary basis and not actually solve the problem and it actually does not help if you are sad 
if you take a substance a drug it will make it might make you feel better just for a couple of hours or, or a few hours max so it's not going to change anything so it is better to not on, not go on that that road rather go on a healthy road where you can actually bring about a significant change and actually solve the problems and bring a longer a long term solution so that something and number 2 also create an environment at home that your children are able to share things with you yes uh, i would like to say actually uh, the children must understand and must be educated regarding the substance use so, i mean what is substance and how it is affecting our body so i think proper knowledge related to substance will help them if they did not indulge into the such type of things second thing to give proper family time i mean just uh, mostly they have more authoritative way of dealing with the teenagers and children so they can understand more about their problems uh, their issues they can teach them properly regarding other also other issue related to the schooling and other i mean uh, issues with the, their friends and other things simultaneously they can uh, talk about uh certain uh, to re- reduce their authoritiveness mostly they have authority do this don't do this they can understand they developing the individual identity so then mostly they will keep in three things not advise more not more judgmental and no argument with them once this is developed somebody has a proper addiction then they require a treatment from the addiction specialist and they have to take proper medicine proper counseling from their doctors as i said previously uh, there shouldn't be any communication gap so communicate uh, to your children about the substances secondly teach them uh, problem solving whenever they are in some problem uh, they like either fight or flight right so uh, teach them to fight not just to take flight with all those substances right yes. and uh, i would say that involve them in other recreational activities such as sports or drawing or painting you know basically substances what they do they just increase dopamine in your brain there is one particular area that is nucleus accumbens this all drugs increases dopamine releases dopamine in that particular area so then uh, you get addiction because you feel good you feel rewarded right so anything which can release dopamine in your brain any positive thing some for somebody for someone it is food right for someone it is something other uh, hobbies some activity right then also schools and uh, in pta meetings or other with other parents uh, the they also the parents should openly discuss about if they are their child are uh, having this kind of problem so then they get to know that what their peer group is facing right and they also should be knowing who are uh, the peers of their child and also uh, try to know their problems right so i would say yes and whenever you think that this happened that if your child has taken any substance never uh, never judge them firstly never try to like punish them always use positive reinforcement and negative reinforcement rather than punishment and always do limit setting you can be friend of your child yes. in this teenage group it is very important for this generation especially it will always be a limit setting sorry thank you so much for bringing the light into such an important topic it was much needed thank you for giving your time sir thank you thank you